Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda, and I'm the Migraine Crafting Diva. And on this video, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, hauls, with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. And today's migraine fact is that migraines are the sixth most disabling illness in the world. And that is um, per the Migraine Research Foundation. So now that we've gotten that fact out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Today I will be doing three Dollar Tree DIYs. So we're going to go ahead and start with DIY number one. For DIY number one, I will be using one of the Dollar Tree cutting boards. Um, I will also be using one of the um, doilies and the... Um, pecan pie recipe uh, board or picture that they had and what I'm doing now is I am cutting the frame of the um, pecan pie recipe off and then I am going to um, sand down the edges a little bit just to kind of clean it up and then I'll add some of my um, faux suede ribbon to around the um, edges of the um, pecan pie recipe just to kind of frame it up so that it looks a little bit more nicer and I'm also going to add the um, doily onto the cutting board because I kind of wanted to give it like an old vintage look or something that you would see in your um, grandparents house And an interesting fact about myself is I actually am not a big fan of any kind of pie, but I do like to just eat the pie crust. Yes, you heard that correctly. I only just, I only like to eat the pie crust. I basically just scrape everything off and just eat the crust itself. So here I am just trying to get correct placement of how I want to place the dolly and the um, recipe board onto my cutting board and I'm just going to apply, um, I'm just going, I'm going to attach the dolly using a glue stick to um, adhere it to the cutting board. And then I'll go ahead and cut the edges off and um, use some of the um, edges to put around the um, areas that I did not have enough of the dolly to put on onto um, the uh, cutting board. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the recipe board. And then I'm going to add some of the antique Mod Podge to um, the top of the dolly to kind of give it an antique look and feel.
So here I am just applying the antique Mod Podge and I let it dry um, for a couple of hours and it started to look a little too yellow for me. So I decided to um, go ahead and peel off the um, dually and of course I couldn't get it all off. So basically what I did was I... Um, had um, some faux wax uh, paper that I had created for a different project. And what you see here is I'm taking some of the regular matte Mod Podge and I am using it to adhere the faux leather um, paper that I had created for a different uh, project. And I decided just to go ahead and use it on the cutting board instead of the um, doily. So here I am again, as you can see, I'm just um, applying a generous amount of Mod Podge and um, applying the full leather paper. And if you are interested in um, seeing how I created the faux leather paper, um, just comment below and let me know and I will um, post a video to um, give you step-by-step -step instructions on how I created the um, faux leather look. So here I am now after letting the um, paper dry for a couple of hours. I'm applying a generous amount of the um, matte Mod Podge to the top of the faux leather. And then once that dries, I will go ahead and attach the recipe sign back to the top of the um, uh, cutting board. And here I am just cutting off the excess paper. And then once I do that, again, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the um, recipe card back to the um, front of the cutting board. I'm going to use some tack some of the tacky glue that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to um, use, um, I cut a piece of the faux leather suede, and I'm just going to use that to place on the top. And then I'm going to add a couple of um, wooden beads to um, the top of the cutting board. And that is it for DIY number one. And I will, can just say that I absolutely love it. It turned out um, better than I expected it to. Um, let me know what you think. And now I'm on to DIY number two. And this DIY is going to be really quick and easy. I am basically taking two of the blue, the um, navy blue picture frames that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I am taking some um, scrapbooking paper that I um, purchased from Hobby Lobby. It came out of one of my scrapbooking books and then I have two um, silk flowers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and basically what I'm going to do is um, trace out the um, the size of the cutting of, of the scrapbooking paper that I need to place in the background of the frame and then I'm going to take my um, heat gun to attach the um, uh, flower, I mean the leaf, 
to the paper. So basically what happens is, is when you use your heat gun or blow dryer, and if the um, leaf has like that plastic surface on the, at the back, on the bottom of it or the back of it, it will actually melt it a little bit where it will actually just stick to your paper. So here I am just cleaning off the frames because once I took the plastic off, they were a little bit dusty. So I'm cleaning off the glass and the frames. And I am going to go ahead and put my leaves into the frames. And then I will go ahead and add the scrapbooking paper. So um, I'm just trying to get a good uh, placement of how, how and where I want to put the leaves. And once I've done that, I also have... Um, two wooden letters one says cherish and one says gather and i'm going to go ahead and glue that on top of the leaves and then i'm going to go ahead and put the picture frames back together and that will be it for diy number two it was quick and easy and i absolutely love it and i hope you do too And we are on to our last and final DIY for the day. And I will be taking um, two of the Dollar Tree pine cones and one of the Dollar Tree um, acorns. And I will be um, painting them. So what I'm going to do first is I will start off by... Um, taking the pine cones and the acorns and um, giving them a quick sand so that the paint will adhere. And then once I've done that, I will take some of the um, white chalk paint, some of the antique wax, and some of the hazelnut paint. And then I will go ahead and mix those three colors together. And then I will apply those to the acorn and both of the pine cones. So here you can see I am mixing up my paint concoction and then I'm going to go ahead and start to paint. And I gave everything um, anywhere from three to five coats, um, depending on um, where I saw, uh, where I could still see the silver or the orange color on the pine cones and the um, acorn.
And just a reminder, if you're going to do this um, project, just make sure that you dab into the crevices of the acorns and the pine cones to make sure that you have complete coverage and that the crevices are completely painted on the inside so that you won't be able to see the orange and the silver color unless you don't mind seeing those colors after you've completed your paint job. And then once it's com once I completely painted everything, I took them outside and I gave them both gave them all um, two coats of the Rustoleum two times extra coverage matte clear just to be just to seal and protect the paint job. So I use my heat gun in between um, coats just to make the drying process a little, go a little bit faster. And now here I am taking some of the um, hazelnut paint and I'm just um, mixing it up with a little bit of the mixture that I had already created earlier. And I'm applying it to the top of the acorn to um, make it a little bit darker so it'll look more like an acorn. And then I'm also going to apply the same um, color to both of the pine cones. And I will give the pine cones a couple, um, I want to say I think I gave them three coats of the hazelnut. And I gave the acorn, I believe I gave it two coats of the hazelnut. And then after um, dry, after letting them dry in between coats, I then took the antique wax and then I applied that to both of my pine cones to make them look like actual pine cones. And that is it for my video. Again, my name is Tawanda and I'm the Migraine Craft and Diva. And I would like to thank you for watching this video. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please remember to be nicer, be kinder, and God will love you for it. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.